Hi there folks, it's Daniel here from Shoot Create Captivate. Today I'm going to be sharing a little tip with regards to fixing up composition on an image. Now the image in question is this one up on our screen here, which is a compositional disaster <laughs> in my books at least. Now let me discuss why. The issue here is that I've left too little space underneath my subjects and way too much space above my subjects, okay? Now I wouldn't normally actually release these types of images to my clients in their proof gallery, but this is one of those images that slip by the radar and they've gone and chosen it as one of the images that they would like me to edit, okay? They like their expressions there, but uh, I don't like my composition. It's a bit of a disaster here. Now you're probably telling me, well, Dan, can't you just crop it down a little bit? Uh, that is correct. We can do that to a certain degree. Now watch what happens here. I haven't changed my aspect ratio, but as I as I crop in and try and get my subjects in the central portion of the frame, you can see that I'm starting to chop off his shoes here, and I'm cropping into the girl on the edge of the frame here, and that just doesn't look nice at all, okay? Let's just exit out of that. Now looking at the previous images, they were all fine, okay? I had them cropped nicely, but what had happened is, Right before this, I was getting things exciting and really communicating and, and, and getting engaging with my clients. And then I messed up my framing a little bit. Okay, here we go. I've left too little space underneath it. And then I soon realized the errors of my way and I corrected myself in the very next frame. Okay, so this one slipped past the radar and they've chosen it and it's an issue for me. So how are we going to deal with this, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna have a look at an image that is correct, and maybe we could use this one here because we've got a nice amount of foreground under our subjects here. This is a well-balanced frame. We've got them nicely in the rule of thirds here in the central part of the frame. Look at that. The heads actually protrude into the upper rule of thirds, while this one over here, that's way below that rule of thirds there. And this is why it feels off, okay? So what we need to do is take the settings that we've got on this image over here. I've already made some adjustments in the development module here. I've got my corrections that I need to do here in this initial phase. And all I need to do is copy and paste those onto an image right over here perhaps, okay? Maybe this one here. So we'll press previous and there we go, okay? Now, let me just make sure that we've got all of our framing right here. Uh, the settings and exposures are identical. And all I need to do now is take this image over here that we want to fix and that one there and open both inside of Photoshop, okay? At the same time. So what I effectively done there is just copied the settings from one image to the other. So we've got identical exposures and everything is the same, even the colors, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is just tear this one off the top banner here, or the top menu rather, and then we're gonna go over to the Move tool here, and I'm gonna move this image on top of this one here, like so. I'm just gonna drag and drop it on top of that one. So we don't need this one anymore here. I'm gonna close it off, okay? And I'm gonna zoom out quickly here, and what I'm looking to do here is just kind of get them lined up sort of closely to each other, maybe somewhere around there, okay? So not gonna be perfect now, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to automate this process. This is where the magic comes in, okay? So I, I, I think I've got it kind of lined up sort of in the region of where I think it should be, but it's not quite there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the shift key on my keyboard and shift select these two layers like so. And all I'm going to do is go over to Edit, then go to Auto Align Layers. And I'm doing this because I know for a fact that even though my subjects have moved, the rest of my scene is static, okay? And that's the key thing here. I'm interested in what's going on around them, not them per se. So all I'm gonna do is go Auto Align Layers, and we're gonna try Auto as our first option, and now I'm gonna OK that, let's see what Photoshop does. Look at that, it's auto aligned those layers. So before and after. Okay, there is a little shift here, but that's the subject shifting. Everything else is kind of in the same same vicinity. Okay, it's kind of matching up. There is a little bit of rotation there, 
But the important thing here is that I'm looking for this underlying area over here. Okay. So what we need to do now is click on this upper layer, which is marked as layer one and put a layer mask on it. Okay. And what we need to do with this white mask over here is press control I on the keyboard like so. Okay. I want to hide this upper layer away. And then all I want to do is take my paintbrush over here with the flow and opacity set to 100%. And I'm just going to paint over the lower portion of the frame here with a white paintbrush. Look at that. I'm blending in that missing part there that should have been there in the first place had I've framed it correctly. Well, I kind of did, but they've just chosen an image where the framing was shoddy to say the least. So I've just painted this back in here and it's realistically blending in because my exposures are the same and Photoshop has auto aligned everything for me. Okay. Right now, what I need to do is flatten out this layer or those layers and come into my crop tool here. And as you can see, I've got my five by seven crop. Let me just move this out the way here. And all I need to do is just move in my framing like so. And now I've got them nicely centralized in my frame. Okay. Perfecto Mondo. So we took elements from another image that was framed right and put it over this image that wasn't framed right, but the client liked their expressions. Okay. So we'll okay that there. And there we go. We've got them fixed up and nice and centralized in our frame here. All right. Let's take that back into Lightroom and look at the before and after just adding in those elements from the bottom end of another image onto this one here. So we started there and we finished up over here. Okay. And now we've got a little bit more breathing space around our subjects. And now this can be printed as a canvas and it's not going to overlap over our subjects. And they've at least got the opportunity to go in and if they want to, you know, choose different crop aspect ratios, two by threes and still have that space. They can go for the five by seven. Those are two common aspect ratios. So we can go in there and have enough space around our subject or subjects rather in this case, having them nice and centralized in the frame, having enough space underneath them and above them. So there you have it, folks. There we go. We fixed up that compositional nightmare and turned it into something acceptable. Folks, thank you very much for tuning in to today's tutorial and we'll see you in the next session. Cheers for now.